Hello, and welcome to the Ravens Report. Thanks for watching. I'm Luke. It's Wednesday, February 3rd, the day after Groundhog's Day. Let's get to today's announcements. With a return to in-person just weeks away, there's more to be excited about. Sports are returning as well. Obviously, things continue to be in modified forms, but what the OSAA is calling Season 2 will be starting this month. Season 2 includes the traditional fall sports, so football, cheer, volleyball, soccer, and cross country. Registration is now open on familyid.com. Get your registration in now so you're eligible. At this moment, football is currently slated to be seven on seven, but the OSAA will have its final ruling on the eighth, which is coincidentally the start of football season with all other season two sports beginning on the 22nd. Register now if you plan to play any of these sports so that the athletics department can get you cleared to start the season. Go Ravens! The Alphabet Soup Club is a new place where students who are feeling a bit lonely during the pandemic can come to a safe space to make new friends and feel connected. This takes place on asynchronous Wednesdays at the Google Meet code Alphabet Soup dash RVHS. If you have any questions, please contact Miss McKelvey or Miss Michaela Thompson. All are welcome. There's no shortage of entertainment to stream, so we wanted to help curate your choices. Here's Charlie with a review of Pixar's latest film, Soul. Does the latest project from Pixar, Soul, fall to the same mediocrity that the studio has been creating more of, or is it as good as some of the company's previous greats? I'm Charlie, and I've been a fan of Pixar pretty much my whole life, and after watching Soul, I just knew I had to review it. After mixed reviews on many recent Pixar films, such as The Good Dinosaur and The Cars sequels, many wonder if the animation company doesn't have the same charm and creativity that made it one of the most successful filmmaking companies in the world. I am happy to say that Soul was a breath of fresh air for Pixar, with creator and director Pete Docter making a movie that's just as good as his previous works. Now let's go over the plot, look and sound, cast, and theme of the movie. Soul is about Joe Gardner, a jazz band teacher in New York City played by Jamie Foxx, who finally gets his shot at his dreams of playing piano on the big stage. Shortly before Joe is able to perform, he falls into a manhole and dies, where he then escapes going into the great beyond and ends up in pre-existence, where souls are given their personalities before entering bodies on Earth. This is already a heavy-handed subject for a Pixar film, but it becomes even more complex as Joe needs to help a soul named 22, played by Tina Fey, find her spark that she needs to enter a body and seemingly will never find. Without spoiling too much, the plot is extremely creative and engaging, and the way the story beats play out subvert expectations in just the right way. Soul both looks and sounds incredible, as is the standard for Pixar, between the warm and fuzzy looking souls to the complex ways the counselors, who are a visual representation of the whole universe, Pixar once again has shown they can consistently spearhead the computer animation industry. The soundtrack doesn't get too much time in the spotlight, but there are a handful of fun jazz songs as well as a few gorgeous piano tunes throughout the film. There aren't too many characters in Soul, but each one has a voice actor who gives an outstanding performance. Jamie Foxx and Tina Fey have great chemistry, and Tina Fey is really able to bring the character of 22 to life as she shows off more range than most people give her credit for. There's a lot of fun cameos by famous actors and actresses to create a world with people who feel real. The thing that really makes Soul so good is the theme and meaning of the film. Director Pete Docter is no stranger to tackling big subjects, as his last story, Inside Out, covered how we deal with and react to our emotions. Soul asks what is possibly the most ambitious question Pixar has ever asked, what is the meaning of life? 
Throughout Soul, Joe Gardner is able to take a look back on his life and experience it through new lenses. While a lot of the best Pixar movies are made for kids with subtle things that adults can pick up and enjoy, Soul feels like the first from the studio that is really meant for adults, being much more artistic and existential than most Pixar films. This movie may not make tons of people cry like they did in Up or Coco, but it will probably make many who watch it take a very long, introspective look at themselves, leaving viewers thinking about it for days. This is not a term that I like to throw around lightly, but Soul can easily be life-changing to some of the people who watch it. Very few movies have a message as strong as Soul. Soul is one of the best and most impactful movies Pixar has ever made in their two decade long history. It may not be as emotionally charged as Toy Story 3, or have characters as charming as the ones in Monsters Inc., but it is a story you can tell Pete Docter and the others who worked on it needed to share. I give Soul a very strong 4.5 stars, and I recommend this movie to everyone. That's it for today. As always, check out our YouTube page at youtube.com slash Ridgeview Ravens. I'm Luke. Thanks for watching. Have an epic day. Stay safe and stay classy.